Well, hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com, and I am back uh, from the movie we went to see. My wife and I went to go see Asteroid City, which is the new Wes Anderson movie. Uh, he's the director that made, like, the Royal Tannenbaums and was, uh, Life Aquatic with Steve Zizou, all those kind of, like, artsy movies where everyone's perfectly centered all the time and stuff. Uh, yeah, so he made a new one called Asteroid City, and it stars pretty much everybody. It's got every, any major actor you, you can think of is in there, including Scarlett Johansson, looking really good. Uh, and Jason Schwartzman did an amazing job uh, on his role, like just sold that role perfectly, and it was so layered. Uh, yeah, it was a crazy movie, though, very meta, and I still don't really understand at all what it was about, but that's probably the point. Uh, but anyway, when we got back, <clears throat> there was another package on the porch, so we're going to do another mail right now. Open this up and see what's in here. I think I know what's in here because I ordered it, and there aren't that many orders coming in now, so I pretty much know what everything is. And what I think that this is, is uh, Miyazaki cards. Now, if you know, they make a lot of different kinds of Miyazaki cards. Like, man, there was a week at the end of May, uh, beginning of June, where I want to say six different sets came out in one week of Miyazaki cards. I was like, what is going on? Does like, everybody make one of these? It's crazy. Uh, I have already this one, which is the uh, museum one, the Studio Ghibli Museum. There's a second museum set. I've seen YouTubers open that. I, I don't have that one. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't plan to get all of them because there's just way too many to get, and uh, it's kind of crazy that there are even that many. Um, but what I wanted to do was try out wholesale buying. So on AliExpress, you can buy single boxes. That's usually what I do is get just an assortment of single boxes. But you can also uh, wholesale all the way from four boxes, which was what I did here. Um, up to like case, you can get 36, 48 boxes at a time. So for example, if you wholesale the Star Wars pre-release pre cards, you can get 36 boxes for like $600, which comes out to like $16 a box. It's like really, really cheap to do it that way versus buying them individually. Uh, and so since, you know, I often, what, I'll, what I often do is like buy one box and then if I like it, I'll buy two or three or four more of that if I liked it, right? And so what I want to do is find a good wholesale vendor that I could go and do that with and save some money, right? So with these Miyazaki cards in here, I'll look up everything once we once we see them so you know exactly I don't lie or anything. But yeah, these should be four identical sets, right? Uh, but I got them theoretically cheaper than they would have been buying them individually. So I'm going to go pause right here because I should have looked this up ahead of time. But let me pause and I'll figure out who I bought this from and how much cheaper it was. I'll be uh, right back. Yeah, okay, so I'm back. Uh, sorry, I should have really looked that up ahead of time, but I didn't. Uh, but yeah, I ordered this from Goddess Story Official Store, which is a really good vendor, to be honest. Uh, the one thing I don't like about them is they ship in boxes like this. I knew that, but they're one of the only sort of well-stocked uh, wholesale vendors. There, there are a couple other wholesale vendors, but they usually have like two or three things. Whereas Got A Story Official Store has hundreds of products and they have them uh, at every wholesale range from a single box all the way up to 48 boxes, including this. Like you can get this for one, you can get four like I did, you can get 12, you can get 36, you can get 40, you can get like an entire case of these from them. Uh, and they add like bonuses with each one. So theoretically, this should come with four 3D promo cards. I don't know if that's true, if they'll be in this box or not, we'll find out. Um, but then to help you understand the cost difference, if I would have bought one of these boxes from them, it's pretty cheap. It's $23 for just one. But then when you buy four, it's $86, which, you know, 23 times four is 92. So that's about you know, about $6 cheaper, or uh, about, you know, $1.50 off per box, right? Which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're talking about such low-end costs to begin with, that's actually, 
you know, two or three percent savings, right? So you combine that with my diamond level savings and all my other kind of coupons that I have, and uh, I, I can end up getting these boxes for really cheap, like way cheaper than anyone else is getting them for, unless they're doing the same thing I am. Uh, and so I'm pretty happy that this worked, that I got these. Uh, it looks like they're okay. I mean, we'll open up and check more, but, uh, but uh, the other thing I want to say is they ship so fast. Uh, they have a 15 day delivery guarantee. And that is very accurate because I put this order in on June 12th and here it is June 24th and I have it. So that was 12 days. So 12 days from a warehouse in China to my front porch here in Los Angeles. That's incredible. Uh, so, you know, regardless of their kind of shipping issues with these boxes, they ship fast. So, uh, yeah, got a story. Official store is probably going to be where I go to get uh, my second order of a thing. I probably won't buy the first order from them because it's not the cheapest and I don't like their shipping. Uh, but I'll probably keep buying from luxury store or something. But then, you know, for example, uh, I'm getting some Sailor Moon cards in soon. If those are good, uh, I, I love that property. So I would want to buy more. Uh, got a story. Official store has that on their wholesale menu. So. If I decide to buy more, I can get more for, you know, two or three dollars off a box, which is great. Uh, so, okay, so anyway, that's what wholesale is. That's what this was. This was a wholesale experiment. Uh, I didn't particularly want this Miyazaki set. I didn't have one to begin with, so I didn't know. I pretty much just randomly picked something that wasn't waifu cards from them and decided to t basically test them out, right? So I know that sounds like a lot of money to test someone with, but... You know, at this point, where we've spent so much here, this is, it doesn't matter that much. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at what we got. Uh, so, yeah, they look pretty good, right? Can't tell. It just says, like, me. It just says, uh, well, it's not going to focus here. Hiyo Miyazaki's Animation Journey. So I guess these cards, uh, that's a pretty cool box, huh? But yeah, I guess these cards are kind of span the entire range of, of his work. I doubt they're official. These are almost certainly some kind of bootleg card, although I don't. I don't know that for sure, right? These could also be official cards. Who knows? Those mu museum ones are official cards. They're actually sold on the museum website, so I know they're real. Uh, can license and all that, but these ones probably aren't. And that's the life. So there you go. Four boxes of Studio Ghibli cards. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these. Uh, we'll probably open one up tonight, check it out, compare with the other one. Uh, and then I wanted to show you here that they did also send me the promos. So that's kind of cool. Why don't we... I don't want to open them all here because I'm pretty sure these are going to be like waifu promos. <laughs> In which case, I can't show them on on video, uh, but I'll open one and check, and then I'll just let you know if that's what it is or not. I feel very thin. I think I'm kind of worried I'm going to cut it, because I can't really even tell where the card is. And these are supposed to be 3D promos? I don't know what these really are, but I assume they're going to come from uh, one of the Goddess Story sets. Yes, uh, yes, very much so. Okay, so uh, I'll show you the back. But I cannot show you the front of that card. I'm sorry. Uh, that is a very not safe for work card, and I assume the other four are as well. Uh, Goddess Story is not safe for work. Waifu cards. That's what those are. There's thousands of them. Obviously, this vendor specializes in that product. If you're interested in that kind of card, Goddess Story Official Store, probably the best place to get it from. Uh, you will get you know real product, such as it is and lots of cool promos and honestly really good prices really good discounts as long as you can deal with kind of getting the shipping being a little uh rough right it's fast but it's rough uh so yeah so sorry i can't show you that card um but i'll put it in the database and you can go look at look at up there so there's a tease for the website right go go look on the website that's where these cards are because i own that website i can put anything i want on there uh, but i don't own youtube so i can't show this uh, but anyway, that's our video. That's our mail for today. Uh, we got four of these. So what I'll do is I'll set up for the next video. We'll open one of these up and compare it with the uh, museum set. See how good it is. 
All right, so a quick little video there. There's just one package. Uh, that was the fourth package this weekend, though. So we, we got a lot of new stuff this weekend. Uh, more coming. I ordered... Uh, remember I was saying I canceled one order? Well, that cancel didn't go through. Uh, before I was able to get that cancel all the way through AliExpress's customer support system, the vendor shipped. So I don't know if they saw it and decided to ship or if we just cordon like I just waited long enough or I don't know, but they ended up shipping that product. So that product is coming to me now. Uh, I didn't get a refund on it. That's fine. I then also put another order in because I thought I was getting a refund from that. But anyway, so there's now another order coming, which has uh, the Kayo um, British Museum cards. Now Those cards are really cool. They're like really good cards. Uh, with like pieces from the museum on them, which is an interesting topic for a trading card. You don't often see that. And they're officially licensed and all that. And they've got the Kyo quality level is very high, but they're expensive. Like the base cost for those is about twice any other Kyo product. For example, uh, a 10 yuan box of transformers from Kyo is gonna cost you what, like 24, $25, whereas <clears throat> the equivalent of the British Museum set is like $60, and it's like twice as expensive. Uh, so that's why I never bought any before. But they came out with a second series, and it literally came out yesterday. Uh, and so I, I saw it on there, and I was freaking out because it's, it's based on Alice in Wonderland. So if you know the Alice in Wonderland story, originally written by Lewis Carroll, is a British story. He's a British author. It was originally a British story, and so the British Museum has a lot of Lewis Carroll artifacts, a lot of Alice in Wonderland artifacts from the first edition, paintings, things like that. Uh, and so Kayo produced a second British Museum set that focuses on that Alice in Wonder Wonderland collection. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, that's the one I'm going to get. And uh, it wasn't $60. It was $40, I think, for one box of 18 packs which is, again, very expensive, but uh, for, for this kind of thing, at least not, not relatively not that expensive. Remember, like a Western hobby box is going to be 200, 300, and Panini sells, what, $600 hobby boxes? So yeah, these are cheap compared to Western cards, but, uh, but that British Museum one is a little, little more expensive, but that won't get here for probably a month. I won't get here for a while, so... Uh, but we'll, we'll see it then. There's other shipments we'll get here before that gets here. Uh, but I was excited about it, so I figured I'd tell you about it. Okay, I gotta stop talking, and this video's gonna go on forever. Um, anyway, here you go. Uh, wholesale, got a story, official store, pretty good place to go if you need um, a lot of boxes and you want to save some money, right? That's what I did here. Works great. Got some free promos. Uh, they are great. This is a really cool looking card, I'm not gonna lie. I just can't show it to you. Okay, so I'm going to set up for the next video. See you soon.